All right, welcome back to Computer Vision. Last time we introduced principal component analysis as a way of doing dimensionality reduction, going from a high space to a low space. Um, and we said it only works if the signal actually is present in that lower dimensional space. In particular, um, you could only reconstruct an image well using a small number of low dimensional, uh, a low dimensional small number of uh, basis uh, images or eigenvectors if the image itself was kind of like that, right? I can only make faces out of eigenfaces. I can't make uh, bicycles or tortilla chips. So that gave us a little insight as you might use that to do detection, right? So if I want to find a face, I might look for patches that can be well described, reconstructed using just that low dimension. Um, so there's a related task that we can uh, use this method for, and that's what's called appearance-based tracking. All right. So here's the basic idea. Learn something about what a target looks like, maybe not just a single image, but the possible variations, by capturing a low dimensional space, being able to reconstruct, and then you're going to track that target around by finding the place that you can reconstruct the best. All right. So that's the basic idea. And what's cool about this is, Instead of like some of the previous tracking where if you learn new appearance every time step, you might drift. That is, you eventually get stuck on something that's not the object. Here you might be more robust to that. 